What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, doing another episode of Boomer Bus, and this time we are covering Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, let me inform you guys as to what Boomer Bus is, because I'm sure some people watching this video might have no idea what this segment is, because it's been a little while since I've done this segment. I have been a little slacking, but I definitely got to cover the Shining Victories archetype. So, Boomer Bus is essentially when I talk about a newer archetype that is premiering in the game, or I talk about an archetype that may be old but is getting way more support and i give you guys a quick history lesson on the archetype tell you about its origins then i talk about some of the things that the archetype does well some of the things that the archetype does poorly and then i just give my overall thoughts and opinions as far as how the deck is going to do competitively moving forward so the origins of blue eyes white dragon trace back to the beginnings of Yu-Gi-Oh itself released in the first ever booster pack aptly named legends of blue eyes white dragon this makes this card not only one of the old in the game but also one of the most iconic it was pretty much the boss monster of one of the most popular characters in the manga or anime ever seto kaiba and you know blue eyes is technically i guess you could classify it as the oldest archetype in the game as well the card is immensely popular it's right up there in league with things like dark magician or red eyes by dragon they're these super popular cards that basically transcend from their era all the way even to today the card has been printed over 20 times and and it's got about a dozen different artworks with my personal favorite being blue eyes in space so to give you a quick recap on the competitive history of Blue Eyes White Dragon, there basically wasn't any. Uh, if you look at the deck before the 5Ds era, before they got their structure deck, their tuner, and their synchro, I don't even think you can actually call Blue Eyes White Dragon a deck. I mean, yeah, it had a couple of pieces that I guess you could call support, things like Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon and Burst Stream of Destruction, which this card is a regeki, but it's only usable when Blue Eyes is on the field. I don't really think you can call that a deck. Now, when it actually got the tuner and the synchro it did get a lot more explosive and you had a go-to boss monster that was really practical the problem remained the same though getting blue eyes on the field wasn't the easiest thing i mean yeah you could rely on somebody attacking your maiden or targeting it or maybe you could use silver scry get it back from the graveyard maybe other things like call the haunted but when it was in your hand it was just kind of stuck there nobody likes to tribute summon two monsters especially if they're vanillas so it just didn't work out to, like it just didn't work very well and honestly, if your blue eyes and your azure eyes couldn't actually run something over, it seemed like you were just completely stuck. I mean, if your blue eyes couldn't get the job done, you were just not getting anywhere. The deck did not have consistent back row destruction. It didn't have consistent monster destruction. There was really no stun element to it. And Konami has addressed all of those issues. This feels to me very similar to Emperor of Darkness, like the Monarch Structure deck, where a lot of the new cards, some of them have not just been adjusted to power creep, but you can clearly see that they wanted the old card and the new cards to work together in unison perfectly and that's what happens here you know you look at the old um tuners and they actually all still work well in the new deck i mean you can actually search a lot of these old tuners with the new cards uh sage knight with eyes of blue actually some of these names are different in the uh, tcg but anytime you summon this guy he's an instant plus one he does happen to be a tuner and you will be doing a lot of synchroing in this deck so you can actually search maiden straight from your deck now and if you don't want to search made and you want to actually get a defensive card you can actually just search things like uh, effect veiler you look at the new blue eyes and these guys are amazing without these you would not be able to play this deck because these guys are not only like not only can they be, you know, draw fodder for things like trade-in, which are way more consistent in the deck, because back in the day before their existence, all you really had was blue eyes. I mean, sure, you could throw in things like Trihorn Dragon, but it really wasn't a blue eyes card, so, you know, all your blue eyes support didn't really necessarily work with it. Not only are these guys level 8, and uh, this, you know, Alternative Dragon shares the stats of blue eyes, but these guys are pretty damn easy to summon. They both have removal effects on field. This guy can be special summoned from the hand. This guy can get blue eyes out of your hand they're just really really good you know they work in unison with uh white stone or white stone of antiquity you can summon this guy the white spirit dragon straight from the deck white spirit dragon is your back row removal it actually banishes instead of just blowing stuff up which is infinitely better than just straight destruction because you know things like cosmo town and prime monarch and artifacts are just a bitch to deal with but if you banish those cards they're not coming back for the most part you've got um you've got alternative dragon which is way easier to summon than something 
something like uh, the original Blue Eyes White Dragon. Same stats and everything. It counts as Blue Eyes White Dragon on the field. So you can use all your Blue Eyes cards with it. But all you have to do is just you just have to reveal a Blue Eyes in your hand. And then you can special summon it. And once you properly special summon it, then you can actually use all your other Blue Eyes cards to like you know bring it back. You can bring it back from something like uh, Gospel Revival or call it a Haunted or something like that. I'm going to talk about Gospel Revival in this video. It isn't technically a Blue Eyes card, but I mean, it just works with big dragons. Like this is another card, much like Silver's Cry, that gets you your monsters back, that can get you your big Blue Eyes back, and actually adds a level of protection. So you're not so beholden to going into like a Zor Eye Silver Dragon. You're still going to go into this card for the most part, but you're not completely reliant on this card uh, for protection. Now, one of the things that I think ties together this entire deck is their new Synchro, which, my God, it's probably the best card in the entire deck. Like, you can look at blue Eyes Spirit Dragon and just say, wow, they really wanted this card to feel powerful. Don't get me wrong. Azure Eyes is pretty good. It gives you a temporary level of protection. It does summon a Blue Eyes every turn, which is pretty good. Or it can summon, you know, like your White Spirit Dragon or whatever. But this guy does so much. Not only is it basically immune to targeting, because if your opponent does target it, obviously you can tribute it. You can get your copy of Azure if you want. You can go into things like Michael and, you know, Spark Dragon. You can go into Moonlight Dragon. And then you could potentially activate their effects. This is during either player's turn, by the way. But it also negates cards in the graveyard. I mean, we just know how big of a deal the graveyard is. Your opponent wants to use the air abyss or the edia they want to use that prime in the graveyard you know what i mean they want to use any of those monarch effects in the grave they want to trigger that dark destroyer that you just blew up like not going to happen burning abyss pretty much the entire deck not going to happen so you get an element of stun there but then it gets even better your opponent can only special summon two monsters at a time so that basically was you can just tell that is 100 supposed to be a hard count of the pendulums it's basically to make sure that people can't special summon yolo five monsters on you when they try and pendulum summon it I mean, if you can limit them to only pendulum summoning two, you've actually done a pretty good job because if they're running something like Draco Pals where they like to summon a bunch of fours, they can only pendulum summon two and they can only exceed one time. So that really takes the fangs out of the pendulum summon mechanic in itself. And again, the card's immune to destruction, hurts the graveyard as well. They got themselves a new fusion. This fusion is infinitely more practical than the old blue eyes ultimate dragon that you would never summon. And, you know, not only does this one not have to worry about running polymerization, so no dead draws for the win, but it's just a simple contact fusion. It can attack twice. It can't be destroyed by battle. Like it's a very safe card to go into actually one of the easiest ways to exploit twin birch dragon is let's say that you had a blue eyes on the field and you had an alternative on the field well you could obviously you know pop a monster but then you wouldn't be able to attack so you could potentially lose out on 3000 damage but if you actually contact fuse into twin birch dragon then you get your 3000 damage back because this guy can attack twice like a lot of what makes the new blue eyes support good is the new cards a lot of them have dual utility you know like maiden used to be a really good card and it still really is is good but it could be kind of difficult to trigger it on your own you know some people used to experiment with like wonder one well now you've got a card like sage and you can summon it you can get your plus one get your effect veiler search maiden or whatever and then potentially synchro but if you don't let's say you already use your normal summon that turn you can obviously trigger your maiden using sage's effect which would actually get you two copies of blue eyes white dragon so you can instantly go into like some you know rank eight xc place you look at white stone obviously when it goes to the graveyard you get to summon a blue eyes straight from your deck which can be cool because you can either get blue eyes with the 3000 glory or you can get like you know white spirit dragon and you can just go nuts on your opponent's back row but then at the same time during like your next turn when this card's in the graveyard you can banish it and you can add any blue eyes monster back from your graveyard to your hand so you know you can get a copy of like your old blue eyes you can trade it in you can just it, there's a lot of plays that you can do here that were just limited with the old blue eyes cards you have now monster destruction you have have trap removal they're both super consistent you have protection for basically all your big dragons so you no longer have to fear you know the regeki or certain things like that because you have uh, return of the dragon lords you've got a go-to synchro monster that does basically everything that you could ask for this card is super stun it stuns the graveyard it stuns the pendulum summon it stuns cards like soul charge you can't target it because it will definitely tag out this card gives you the ability to go into other synchros that you really don't have any business is going into but the card is amazing you've got a good contact fusion 
honestly the only thing i would say that blue eyes is kind of lacking is a little defense like a little more defensive prowess because a lot of your defense is pretty much tied to these two cards this guy and your synchro so it would be kind of nice if blue eyes got like a maybe a go-to trap but in a game where you can pretty much just throw four solemns into any deck i don't really know if that's that big of a problem i think this deck is an absolute boom if you look at the evidence of the ocg yes i know it's a different format they don't have cosmos and burning abyss of monarchs basically got destroyed on their last ban list this is one of the best three decks in the game and it's just because the deck can it can still play old school blue eyes you can still summon beaters and beat your opponent over the head but at the same time the deck just has so much more of a control game your control game relies on you know spirit dragon and then a lot of plays where if your opponent sets back row maybe you use like silver Cry, you go into like spirit dragon like spirit dragon and alternative dragon being like your board controllers and cards that kind of limit how many uh like how much your opponent can essentially put on the board and commit like these are your control cards here and then obviously you can just rack up a lot of resources with azor silver eyes kind of like the old way if this card lives for like multiple turns you should be able to win the duel because you got to remember you're just bringing out blue eyes for free turn after turn and if you bring this guy out you're blowing up or you're actually banishing back row at the same time so i think that this that this deck is actually really strong i think that it's going to be a lot stronger if some of the tcg meta gets hit on the ban list which i fully expect and um i think the blue eyes support is really like comprehensive and i think it's excellent now i do have a couple of cards here at the bottom uh, some of these cards are new some of them are old you don't necessarily have to run them i don't think that they're really necessary if you look at like the ocg builds and even a lot of the tcg builds like people don't necessarily run these cards even a card like maiden some people consider kind of slow i still think the card's pretty good because again i like being able to trigger it with uh, sage and then at the same time being able to just use it as uh, synchro materials or uh, like synchro fodder but the deck does actually have like enough tuners without it because you do have tuners that when you throw them in the graveyard are going to plus for you you have tuners that search other tuners i mean you got to remember you still can technically search effect valor in this deck for free so you're going to be running a lot of tuners even if you don't happen to run maiden so let me know what you guys think i think that right now the deck is probably i would say it can easily top eight a regional i think the deck can probably day two a yc Yes. I'm not sure that it would be able to go um, a little higher. Like, I'm not sure it'd be able to go higher than that. I do think sometimes the Monarch deck can be quite, can be a little bit of a problem, but you do have easy outs to domain. And this deck isn't necessarily beholden to its extra deck as much as some of the other decks like, well, Burning Abyss, where it's completely beholden to the extra deck. Because you have to remember, even though you do want to go into like spirit dragon all the time you still can just beat the crap out of your opponent old school blue eyes with like alternative white dragons and just regular blue eyes white dragons i mean you, what you're summoning is 3000 beaters so a lot of decks are going to struggle with that and then one more thing that i wanted to talk about as far as what blue eyes does well i forgot to mention this earlier in the video is field presence blue eyes has always been able to drop a 3000 beater here and there but not this consistently like the deck can throw down 3000 beaters like nothing and honestly you know white spirit dragon being 2500 is definitely no slouch the fact is you know you can take a maiden you can target it with sage from your hand and then you can pop out two blue eyes straight from your deck that's pretty damn powerful you know you have two cards that can instantly get you blue eyes from the graveyard instead of one now one of them gives you a little bit of protection which is even better and you look at a card like soul charge and it is basically a godsend it's actually kind of like a, a sylvan or infernity type win condition like when you activate soul charge you're looking to go a minimum of at least three deep because you're bringing out three thousand beaters like you know this card can put game on board even if you can't technically attack that turn like if your opponent can't kill those monsters you're probably just going to kill them and at the same time you got to remember if you bring things back like you know white spirit dragon and uh alternative dragon you are blowing things up on the field at the same exact time so this deck definitely does feel presence much better than the old blue eyes deck where it was pretty much like have a zero eyes or bust so let me know what you guys think thank you for watching as always is blue eyes a boom or bust in your opinion it is an absolute boom in my opinion